There we go. Bad cast, but I just worked it off the edge. So it dropped in nice right in that shade and the fish still hit it. Like that. Another nice frog fish. Can't beat when they turn on the frog. They're choking it. I didn't even give him any line and he still swallowed the frog. Another nice fish. That's what power poles can do for you. Caught one fish, put the poles down, stops the boat any direction the wind's blowing you. Gives you time to cast and catch more fish off the spot without scaring them. Starting to figure it out. Throw a sinkle or something slower up on the edge. We should be able to pick off another fish or two. We are going to throw our dirty jig up on that edge. Let's see if we can't get some more fish to bite. was another fish. Got a skill stuck to the hook. Oh, did you see that? Big fish up on the box. Big fish. Dirty jig up on the cattail bog. That's the third fish off this little patch. Again, power pulls down. Allows me to fish this piece of cover without scaring the fish. Think there's another fish under there? Oh yeah, big fish. We figured the pattern out. Dirty water, got them shallow. It is shallow up there and those fish were still loaded. There's another fish. Fish number six on the same little patch. A spot like this too, you can leave sit for a half hour and come back. And some of the fish that you scared while you're fighting all these other fish in, they can pull right back up on the cover and be ready to bite again. When you got wind blowing in here like this, it can really turn the fish on. And if you have power poles or a shallow water anchor, you can pull right up here and fish it good. Hold yourself and not scare all the fish. This actually looks pretty good. It's got shade pockets all along it. Another fish to the power poles. You can pull right up here, not scare the fish. Big fish. Those 
fish are loaded up under the shade. These fish are stacked in the cattails tonight. We had a 15 to 20 mile an hour south southeast wind. I was just about to stay home and decided to make the drive. It's about 50 miles. And it's been worth it. The fish have been on. Fishing more on the south side of the lake so the wind's not too bad. Stir it up again. Oh, big fish. Nice frog fish. He showed himself. <clears throat> he surfaced on that first cast. And I didn't know how big it was. Nice frog fish. Wow. It doesn't get more fun than that. Another big frogfish. Look at that. Pounding the frog. He missed it. He was trying to scare it to get it off that mat, and as soon as it came off in open water, pounced on it. Another big fish. Biggest one yet. Look at this. This is unbelievable. What a night of fishing. They are choking that frog. Unbelievable. Another big fish, same spot. Just pounding the frog. Right on the side of the boat. It pays the double check. They've been crushing a frog in the same spot. Pick up the jig, drop it down. I think this is the best night of fishing I've had all year. In fact, I know it is. If this doesn't sell you on power poles, nothing will. Here I'm using a seven inch Ocho from Strike King on an owner 11 aught hook. The nice thing about this hook is it reaches way back on the Senko so if they bite it from the rear to the middle, you're going to hook the fish. There he is. Oh, big fish. Oh, he came back and hit that sinkle. Check that out. Abu Garcia Veritas rod. Or SX reel, 50 pound braid, big fish. And a Senko with an 11 knot hook. Oh, shit. 
They're just hammering it, but they don't get it in their mouth. Dropping the Senko on them. If I can get it right in that little pocket. Nice fish. He showed himself again on that jig. And then he took the Senko. Power poles. I don't know how you can fish without them. In this spot here with the wind blowing in, you'd be constantly on your trolling motor, trying to keep position. The fish would hear it. The flush of water would be going right in on them. I've been shortening the Senko up because the fish are so aggressive, they're just grabbing at their back end and running off with it. Unbelievable night. These fish are just smoking it. Big fish. Do you see them come out of the water for that frog? Wow, they're just choking it. Big fish. Dandy on the single. Power pulls down. Windy point. Last minute pot of fish. It's crazy. The way they're grabbing it, you could throw anything down there. I'm throwing a dirty jig, a half ounce dirty jig with a nice hook. Just tattooing those fish. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Look at that frog fish. Right before dark, flooded channel, frog. There's more than one. Another big fish. What a night of Minnesota bass fishing.
still big fish on the spot. So how many fish are under there? <clears throat> Just crazy. Fish after fish after fish. <clears throat> First open water, top water fish today. You know, don't even really know what to say except what a night. Sitting at home this afternoon. 15, 20 mile an hour wind, De debating on whether to even go or not, pick the lake with the south shore, figure out the pattern, and just smoke the fish. Top water, bogs, thick cover, just a blast. Uh, power pulls made it happen. If you didn't see the evidence today and how I fished and caught those fish, there were times I put the power pulls on and caught five fish, five nice fish, without even the boat drifting. Some of those were right over the side of the boat. They do not know you're there when you use the power poles and you stay off the trolling motor. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, have two. I ran one power pole two years ago. Put two on last year. <coughs> Would never go back. Get yourself some power poles. Get in the heavy cover. Heavy line. Heavy rod. Bust some big fish.